This video has provided a supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the multiplicative inverse. Now, like a lot of things in math, the term we use here, multiplicative inverse, makes this sound a lot harder than it is. It's really pretty simple. So let's get started. I've got four equations here. I've got 3 over 4 times 4 over 3 equals 1, and then 1 over 5 times 5 equals 1, 2 times 1 half equals 1, and a over b times b over a equals 1. Each of these equations is an example of the way the multiplicative inverse works. If I start out with a number like 3 over 4, and I want to multiply it by something so the product is 1, I multiply it by what's called its multiplicative inverse, or its reciprocal. That might be the term you're more used to. To get the reciprocal, or the multiplicative inverse, all I do is take the number, the original number, like 3 over 4, and flip it over. So I take that fraction, 3 over 4, flip it over, make it 4 over 3. When I multiply them out, I get a 1. Here's why I get a 1. When I multiply fractions, I multiply the two numerators. So I'm going to have 3 times 4 and that will equal 12. That will be the numerator for my answer. And I multiply the denominator, so it's going to be 4 times 3. Well, 4 times 3 is the same as 3 times 4, so that's also equal to 12. And then I've got 12 over 12, and of course that equals 1. The same thing happens when I have 1 over 5 times 5. That's really 1 over 5 times 5 over 1. So 5 over 1 is the multiplicative inverse, or reciprocal, of 1 over 5. When I multiply them out, I'm going to get 1 times 5 is 5, and 5 times 1 is 5, so that's 5 over 5, and that equals 1. When I have 2 times 1 half, I've got that whole number 2, so I'm going to think of that as 2 over 1, so I can flip it over to get its reciprocal, or multiplicative inverse. That's going to be 1 half. When I multiply them, I'll get 1. And in general, if I have any number, a over b, and I flip it over to get its multiplicative inverse, to get its reciprocal, when I multiply it out for that a over b times b over a, I'm going to get ab over ab, and that equals 1. So a multiplicative inverse is the same as reciprocal, and all it is, is the reciprocal, the, the flipped version of the number you're starting with. When you multiply that original number times its multiplicative inverse, you're always going to end up with 1. And that's all there is to it. Take care. I'll see you next time.